So how will you answer a question uh, wherein the only information given to you is the atomic number? So let's go through a question of this form. Elements X, Y and Z have atomic number 9, 20 and 10 respectively. The question says which of these will lose electrons? Which of these will gain electrons? Which of these will neither lose nor gain electrons? Which of these is a metal? A non-metal and an inert gas which of the elements will form a chemical bond between them also name the bond and which element will not form any bond most of the times children find it very difficult to answer a question like this and the answer lies in a very simple concept which is related to the atomic number so basically atomic number provides that provides us every information which is required in the entire question. Let us see how to go about the question. Now the only information that we have in this question is atomic number. For X it is 9, for Y it is 20 and for Z it is 10. This is the meaning of the word respectively. So let's begin. Element X as is given in the question has an atomic number of 9. That means if it has atomic number 9 its electronic configuration will be 2,7 since atomic number provides us all information about the total number of electrons. Therefore, we can easily write its electronic configuration 2,7. It has 7 electrons in its outermost shell. Therefore, valence electrons present in it are 7. And as we have discussed it in our previous videos that any element having 5, 6 or 7 valence electrons is said to be a non-metal. Therefore, this element is a non-metal. Now, since it has 7 electrons in its outermost shell, it is also not a stable atom. So, since it is unstable, it is, does not have 8 electrons. What will it do to become stable? It is going to gain 1 electron. In its outermost shell, it has 7. It will gain 1 electron and does have 8 electrons here in the outermost shell. And it will gain stability. So this is how you have to, you get answers to actually two parts. That means which of these is a non-metal? It is element number X. Which of these is going to gain electrons? It is again element X. We have just discussed it. Element X gains one electron. So two parts are answered. Let us also try and identify this element. Since it is the ninth element in the periodic table and if you have learned all the 20 elements, you would clearly be able to identify this element is fluorine. Let's discuss the about element Y. Element Y, it's very clearly given in the question, has an atomic number of 20. It is the 20th element in the periodic table. Since its atomic number is 20, its electronic configuration would be 2882. Since atomic number tells us it, it has 20 electrons. So, electronic configuration is 2882. Now, very clearly, this element has two valence electrons any element having one two or three valence electrons is said to be a metal now since this element has two electrons in the valence shell it is a metal now this again answers one of the parts of our question that which one is a metal it is the element y now since this element is also unstable as it as it has two electrons in the outermost shell it is not following the duplet rule this concept should be very clear to all of you that duplet rule is only applicable on the K shell. If there are no other shells, if there is no other shell and there is only K shell and it has two electrons only, then we say it is following the duplet rule. Not when it has two electrons in the K shell and in the last, any other last shell. So it is not following any of the rules. Therefore, it is unstable and in order to become stable, what will it do? It is going to lose two electrons. If it loses these two electrons, we can clearly see it will now have 8 electrons in the outermost shell and will become a stable atom. So, it is going to lose 2 electrons. So, which element is losing electrons? It's element number Y. Okay. And let us try and identify if you know the 20 elements. So, it is a 20th element and the 20th element is calcium. So, the element is calcium. Now, let us understand for element Z. Element Z Atomic number of element Z given in the question is 10. Since it has 10 as atomic number, number of electrons in Z are also 10. Therefore, its electronic configuration is 2,8. Number of valence electrons we can clearly see in this element are 8. 
any element having eight electrons in the outermost shell is very clearly following the octet rule. That means it clearly tells us that this element is a stable atom. Therefore, this is a noble gas. It is a stable atom. It is known as a noble gas or the inert gas. It is already stable. Since this element is already stable, and why do we say it's already stable? Since we can clearly see it has eight electrons in the outermost shell. It is not required to become stable. It's already stable. So it will not lose, gain or share electrons. And in turn, if it does not want to lose, gain or share, it is not going to form any sort of a bond. Look, since any element bonds only and only in order to become stable. Now, since it is a 10th element in the periodic table, this element is neon. So, just to summarize and to answer all questions one by one, that which of these will lose electrons? It is the element number Y. We have just discussed that element Y will lose electrons. Which of the elements will gain electrons? It is the element X. Element X will gain electrons. Which of the elements will neither lose nor gain electrons it is element number z which will neither lose gain nor share electrons it's already a stable atom and then the next question is which of these is a metal non-metal or an inert gas so element x we clearly saw that element x is a non-metal it was fluorine element y was calcium so it is a metal element z is an inert or a noble gas now comes the fifth question very important question which of the elements will form a chemical bond between them also name the bond now as uh, we can clearly see and we've just discussed that element x is a non-metal element y is a non-metal z is an inert gas inert gas is not involved in bond formation because it is already stable so there's going to be no chemical bond with element z but element x and y they are non-metals and metals respectively and we all know that the bond formed between a metal and a non-metal is known as an ionic or electrovalent bond. That means it is a bond formed by loss or gain of electrons. Metal loses, non-metal gains. Therefore, element X and Y will form a chemical bond between them as X is a non-metal and Y is a metal. And such a bond is called an electrovalent or ionic bond. This answers our fifth part of the question. And now coming to the last part, which element will not form any bond? We've already discussed that. Element Z will not form any bond. So I hope you all have understood how to answer such a question, how to begin and how to write all the steps and then answer this question easily.